Oh, we're back on the differentiation, so that's pretty cool. So this is yeah, differentiation two, um, and it looks like there's four lessons, maybe a little bit more. Um, right, let's have a look then, it's quite nice this. So rates of change we're on. Now you know, because I've told you a million times, that differentiation is a gradient. It's a gradient function, it's a gradient of a tangent. So really it's a change going up divided by a change going across. So you've got changes going on, a rate of change. So if your volume's changing over time, it could be that the volume gets bigger or smaller over time. So there's a change there in volume over time. Um, so we tend to just, or quite properly, dy by dx is a rate of change of y with respect to. The with respect to is the, tells you the bit on the bottom. Um, but we just, if it's by time, we just assume it's going up. So what we've got then, so this is quite nice. So it says that velocity is a change in the, we, we know that like a speed is a distance over time, and velocity is displacement over time. So velocity is a change in distance or a change in displacement over time. So that's what that does. And acceleration, well that's just a change in your speed, a change in your velocity. So I just differentiate it again. So that's quite nice. So let's have a look at this then. We've got like a 70,000 questions to get through. Uh, well, I always think it's quite nice. If I have my displacement on a distance, which is x equals, if I differentiate it, I get my velocity. dx by dt. If I differentiate it again, I get my acceleration. d2 x by dt squared or dv dt. Right then, um, so what's this about? So this is about the volume of water in a tank, so find dv by dt. So I've got, for differentiate the third t to the six, it's six times by the third, which is two, so that's going to give me two t to the five, but minus 2 times 4t cubed, so minus 8t cubed, and plus 6t. And then differentiate it again, so my 2t to the 5 becomes 10t to the 4, my minus 8t cubed becomes minus 24t squared, and then I've got plus 6. Right. So the next bit says, find the rate of change of volume. So the rate of change of volume dv by dt when t is 2. So I'm going to look when t is 2. So dv by dt will be 2 lots of 2 to 5 minus 8 lots of 2 cubed plus 6 lots of 2. dv by dt. So stick that in your calculator and it comes out as 12. Now I've got to think about the units. This is volume over time. And does it give me the units? So my volume is meters cubed and my time is seconds. So the units, so it's going to be, I forget if it's meters or centimeters. Or. So meters cubed per second. So second to the minus one. Now there's a question for you to have a go at. So have a go at that either now or in class, up to you, as long as it's done. Right, so the second one, let's have a look at this one then. So the second equation says a balloon is being inflated. Uh, so that's telling me that the volume is going up. And I've got V is 4 pi over 3 r cubed. Find the rate of change of volume. So rate of change of volume is dv by, now it says rate of change of volume with respect to the radius. So that's dv by dr. If it just said the rate of change of volume, it would take you the time. 
If you look at this equation, it's got V on the left, so I can have a DV. It's got R on the right, so I can have an R DR. So that would be 4 thirds pi times by 3R squared. So the threes will cancel. I've got DV, DR is 4 pi R squared. Now it tells me when the radius is 5, and to give the answer in terms of pi, so when R is 5 centimetres, dv dr is 4 pi times 5 squared. So dv dr is 100 pi. Once again, think about what you think about what your, your, um, your units are. This is volume over length. So the volume is going to be centimetres cubed over centimetres. So that's just going to be centimetres squared, isn't it? In terms of that, so changing your volume with respect to your radius. Some people write it as centimetres cubed per centimetre, which is kind of technical true, isn't it? Uh, right, I might stop there and do the next example because there's 27 parts this now.